you want we begin the interview now? Oh, you're sure? Hey, why not? Okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, sure. <laughs> well, it's, it's Are you ready for? It's a pleasure for me to speak with you. Oh, thank because you. Because I'm, I'm the fan number one in Spain. For accent. For accent. <laughs> for accent. That, that's what, what I want to hear. <laughs> okay. Well, your career has three divisions, I think. The past with Accept, Victory oh. and other bands. Your yeah. solo career and the future with German Panzer. Mm -hmm. If would like some things about all of them. Uh, your solo career has three albums. The last yeah. one, The Devil Rides Out. Yeah. Will come 18 of November. I mean, I did a couple of, uh, uh, years or decades ago, I, I already did a couple of solo albums called Moon Dog. Uh -huh. Ah. So I'm all, always working a, 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 on a couple of solo things. Uh -huh. Fantastic. Well, you have mm -hmm. an amazing band now, Ricalci from Master Plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andre Hilgers from Rage, and Michael Miller from Jet yeah. Heard. How did mm -hmm. you draw together with these people? I mean, uh, Rick was obvious because he's sang the second one and the second writing got it was quite a good album. So it was obvious that I really wanted to go with him, and he was ready for, and he really, really liked to do the third album. And then I decided I want to have totally new drums and new bass players. So I know Andre from quite well from a couple of I met him a couple of times in festivals and, and stuff like that when I was out with Except, and he's right, this guy I needed for for the drums. You know, he grew up with this kind of music he's a fan of the, is, uh, the things I'm doing so uh, he fits perfect in the band and he's a hell of a drummer <laughs> as you can hear on this album and then Rick came up with Michael Miller Mühle called nickname um, he said he's a nice guy and he got uh, he gives to, to the music the balls you need so <laughs> we checked it we checked out if we can do the, do this together and it, it, it fits perfectly fantastic Rick Alci performs in your last two solo albums. What's your opinion? Uh, only, only on the right, right in the guts. The first one was, was done by Yoti, Yoti Parkeridis. Yeah, the, that's the first, but in the second and the third yeah, yeah. is Rick Alci. Yeah. What's your opinion of his voice comparing with others you well known like Udo, Mark Tornillo or Marcel Schimmer? Schmier. Every, every singer is a, is a different person. I mean, it, uh, you can't compare these really good singers. I mean, each one of them is really um, authentic, you know. I mean, Udo got his authentic voice and his authentic performance, and Mark, Mark Tornillo is also a really out outstanding guy, you know. You shouldn't com you can't compare, really. It's, it's different persons and different personalities. I mean, right, for me, Rick, Berg, in my music, he, he's just, he, he, he just fits to it. Perfect. I mean, I, I couldn't have I'd say about, uh, thought about a better singer for my third album. Okay. okay. In the album we can hear 12 songs of pure heavy and speed metal. Are all the oh, yeah. attempts composed by you alone or is the result of your collaboration with Rick and Rick? I mean, more, more or less. I mean, 80 to 90 percent is composed by me. I'm t I'm preparing that the songs in my little studio, play my little own bass, and my and computer drumming, <laughs> and and also sang on them. So Rick gets an idea how I how I have the, the picture I have for the, for each and every song. You know, so I have to give him an impression how it would how it would should sound like in the end, and then I send out to the guys and they give their ideas to it for sure because I mean Andre is a much better drummer than I do programming mm -hmm. and Rick is, is is no question about that he sings much better than I could give him as a demo and so they fill, fill, fill my ideas up or um, finish them with their talent okay all song for me forms an homogeneous sound how do you define this band's style I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy metal. I really can't tell. I'm, I'm not a friend of any style. I, 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 I like to do it in 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 a, in a certain in, in a certain box, you know. I mean, I 
I, I don't like to fit in any box anyway. I mean, that's the reason why I do so many different things. I really like to have some different playgrounds in music. But if you have to, if I have to put it into a kind of box, then I would say classical, classic heavy metal. Okay. Your first single and video will be Balhawk Zone, I think. Yeah. Why did, yeah. why did you choose this song and not, for example, Running Back or License to Kill? Because both. Uh, I wanted to have. Actually, I, I, my first idea was Running Back because I, I, I think it's a real, real fucking strong song. And I, everybody liked it. And then the record company said, ah, oh, we should do this song. Because, I mean, they, they, they listened to it fresh. And the people at the record company, everybody from them said, let's do Ballhawk Song, let's do Ballhawk Song. And everybody said, Ballhawk Song, Ballhawk Song. So I agree. <laughs> and I think it's a, it's, a, it's a very good song too. And uh, it would have been obvious if we would do a video or release um, running back a fast song, you know. So we said, oh, it might be quite interesting to release Ballhawk Song. And I think it works. People like it very, very good so far. And I good reactions on it yeah, it's a good song and it's a song you, it's a song you can move to it yeah if you have to choose only two or three songs in the album what songs do you choose <laughs> <laughs> difficult, <right? laughs> that's, a, that's the most difficult question you can get me <laughs> I think for me running back as I, as I said um, another a really one of my f favorites is uh, can't take it no more because that gives me the feeling of riding any cool car in America, <laughs> kind of like. I would like. I, I would love to listen to the song when I drive a Corvette in 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 the US, so, for example. And the third song maybe "License to Kill," because this is a heavy song, or, or "Ballhawk Zone" or "Running or Run Run Boy." You know, that, that's a diff really difficult right, question. It's very difficult because uh, all the songs for me are uh, very good songs. I, I mean, if, if I write, write an album, I try to put all the 12 songs as best as I can get. Mm -hmm. So I don't point out on one or, or, or give my efforts just on one or two or three song songs. I really would like, I, I really try to put my efforts on every song, you know, that's the reason why you can't tell, oh, this is my favorite, or this one is my favorite, maybe next week is a different one. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 I really like them all, you know. Mm -hmm. When I listen back to the, to the album, then last week it was this song, and next week it might be a different one. <laughs> yeah. But I still come back on running, running, running back. The actual band will be a real band, and not a studio project. Do you have plans for yeah. touring in the future? Right, right. Uh, end of this week, Friday, I have to do this. I have to make a decision which booking uh, company it will be for for the future. Because mm -hmm. there are two or three, they want to really do it. And um, I think from then on, they, they might start. Hard. And then it's uh, also the right time because then the first critics are back and their first reactions are back for the album. So the promoters uh, can handle it a little bit better. And um, the, if, if, if it works out, there might be two weeks in end of February, mm -hmm. kind of a little, little, little uh, say hello to or something, <laughs> a smaller thing. And then I hope to get a couple of festivals. Okay. I would love to. Because this band on festivals, it, I think it will be killer. Yes. What expectations can we have about your live shows? Pure, pure heavy metal. I mean, no, 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 no fashion thing or no, you know. I mean, they're really fantastic musicians. Andre, for example, everybody's so good on his, his, his instrument. And if and Rick, if he, if he's singing live, wow, you should listen to this. <laughs> I think that just just give energy and play a couple of songs. I mean, we. I'm really looking forward to going on the road again. I miss this. Can we see Herman Frank on stage in Spain next year? Perhaps in a festival, in Leyenda, Rockfest. Hopefully, try try to get, get try to get me in contact with any 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 any, any promoters. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I mean, uh, uh, we have to face the truth. Everybody wants to go on festivals. I mean, there's a big chance for Herman Frank right now because we're doing we have have now the chance with the lineup to do the, uh, the first time 
do, to do live shows and I do have my own schedule now because I'm out of accept and I have time for it, for this to think about. And so there might be a chance in Spain, uh, hopefully. Yeah, I would love to. In summer, when the sun uh, sun shining. Fantastic. Well, the second block of questions is about accept. You made in the 80s... Yeah. In the <laughs> 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 falls to the wall and later the three last albums Blood of the Nations, Stalingrad yeah. and Blind Rage what was your active share? Yeah, and, Restless, and Restless and Wild and Restless and Wild, yes Sorry, yeah. that, was first. that was the first what was your active share yeah. in those albums? Composing. pardon me? I mean that's the reason why I left except you know, finally <laughs> I thought it. I thought it might. I thought it might change their mind. Or let's let's face it, truth. I thought Wolf would change mind and give me a chance to <laughs> show a little bit of my talent. But hey, it didn't work out. So what can you do? And and then after the last five years, I said to myself, hey, I don't want to stay the rest of my my life uh, on the right. I stand in the in the dark on a stage and cover somebody's guitar. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> easy, easy like that, you know. <laughs> Sorry, that's the truth. <laughs> that's the main reason to leave us accept, I think. More, more or less. I, I really wanted to do my own thing, you know. I'm, 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 I was doing so many albums and so many compo uh, composed so many songs, and uh, I missed this, you know. And I'm, I didn't want to be the, the uh, just equipment. Mm -hmm. I, I did. did I, I mean. I was getting tired. This was a one-way street, you know, for me. Yeah. What's your opinion about the current moment of accept? Well, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I wish them all. I wish them all the best. I mean, they're doing good. Okay. The, the former vocalist Mark Tornillo, for me, is doing an excellent yeah. job with the band. The, the three albums are fantastic. Oh yeah. For me. Oh yeah. He's a really nice guy, and I do. I really miss the, my brother, Mark. Oh, fantastic. What are the main differences about him and Udo Wiesneider? I, I, I mean, b between Mark and, and Udo, yeah. differences? I mean, the, the, the character of voice. Yeah, because the voice is... I mean, so it's, it's similar, quite similar. It's kind of like similar, but I mean, it's, they're two different persons. They're excellent singers, both are excellent singers and excellent showmen. showmen and and uh, you shouldn't compare them, I mean. and and. To tell differences, they're the two different persons. Okay. Easy like that. Everybody tells his own story. Okay. The, the last Udo's tour was made performing only accept songs. Yeah. What do you think about uh, it? Uh, great, great idea. Do you think it's, it's a fantastic idea? Do you think Udo has made the going decision taking off accept songs from his set lists in the future? <laughs> Because Why not? I mean, he was doing so. He was f doing for years and years the, the accept songs, and right now with this uh, pronounce uh, with this an announcement that he's, he's doing it for, it for the last time, he, uh, lots of people show up at the shows, you know. Yeah. So it was a smart move. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, this is a, a um, in my opinion, you know. In my opinion, and what I've heard, I mean, he released a couple of tracks, and, and you can see it on YouTube. He's doing great with the old, except songs. I mean, that's his music. Yeah. Well, this is an, uh, an especially difficult uh, or delicate uh, question for you. Udo told in, <laughs> told in an interview that you and Schwarzman not left the band, not left Accept, but you were fired. Is it true or false? I mean, if you if you come to to, to the point, I in the end I said to uh, I wrote a letter to to the management and to Wolf and said I can't take it anymore, yeah. and I don't want to take it anymore. But all in all, I mean, the the, the 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 situation was not quite satisfied for for both sides. Mm -hmm. well, what relationship do you have? No wonder why. No wonder why. I mean, if you think about. It, <laughs> We started five years ago uh, in di on a different point of view to do this accept thing again. Uh, for me, for, for myself, I got an opinion, A, finally they want to do a band, or a band thing or something, or like a band thing. But in the end, it, it was quite 
it was still the Wolf Hoffman project like the years before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what relationship do you have now with Wolf, Peter and Mark? By and with Udo too? I mean, Mark is still my my buddy in, uh, in in rock, you know, and we write several times on on Facebook or, on, or emails or stuff like that, uh, and the rest, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I wish them the best. You you are you are a, a good friend from uh, of Udo, I think, no? Udo and you are good friends. He kind of. Yeah, I mean, uh, we 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 uh, calling once once or, or twice or three times a year and say hey, what's what's going on, what's what's new. I mean, actually, I was supposed to do maybe support him for for his uh, second part of the tour, but the album came out too late and stuff like that. Otherwise, we hey, I I, I go along with him in a in, in a nice, smoothy way. Okay, well, let's talk a little about the German Panther now. This band will edit the second album in November too, it's right? Who? Uh, German Panzer. I didn't get it, it was... German Panzer? Oh cool, fine. They're doing it as a second album? Yeah, in, in November I think, no? Is it in the editing of second album? I, I, I can't tell. I, I, I can't tell. Okay. What objectives do you have with German Panzer in the immediate future? I mean, I'm not on the second album. Because I'm only doing the, I only will do um, the Hermit Frank. Uh -huh. well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not with uh, involved in the second album. Ah, you, you are not in German Panzer now. I'm not involved in the second album, as I said. But in, uh, you are in. The Which album? I, I didn't even know. I, I didn't even know they're coming up with the second album. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't know that. Sorry. Well, you know that there, there's so many people. Uh, there's so many people around the music business, and I'm getting tired. I'm really getting tired and fucked up by uh, all only people that are talking. And, and, and I want to just do the right thing. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, in the fact, uh, I don't have more questions for you because the, the other is for German Panzer. And is not present. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> well, thank Talk to Schmier. Thank you very much for your answers, Herman. And I hope to see you on a stage soon. In Spain. Thank you for taking your time. Thank you for taking your time. Maybe I'll see you in Spain. Thank you, you, for attending me. Thank you. <laughs>